Hi, beautiful. Today is the week of the Kool-Aid. I just did a video where I tried to use Kool-Aid to color hair, and well, it didn't exactly work out as planned. If you wanna check out that video, it's linked below. Today, we're watching some people hopefully do successful Kool-Aid color jobs. I checked out the thumbnails of these videos, and it looks like their hair actually fully gets colored by Kool-Aid. I don't know how that's possible, because when I did it, it did not work out at all. It was bad. But apparently, it does work. Maybe I did something wrong. I'm open to learning today. I want to see how this is done and how unsafe people make it because I know another technique is to dip your hair in boiling water with Kool-Aid in it, which just seems really scary to me and I would not recommend that. Maybe there's something else you can do to make it work better. I'm interested to dive into the world of Kool-Aid hair coloring and see what it can bring to the table. Let's do it. Okay, up first, we have a video by India Eve Hartley, and this is called How I Dye My Hair with Kool-Aid. Let's check it out. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do my favorite thing in the entire world. Your favorite thing. I like to dye my hair blue. Okay, yeah. I feel like it just brings out myself, and I'm so tired of this, this blonde that I've had. I'm tired of it too, and I just saw it. So yeah, let's get rid of that. I'm very excited for her to color her hair blue. This is gonna be so much better than that blonde hair she currently has. It's gonna brighten her up. Maybe her more fun looking and vibrant and full of life. I am so pumped for it. So how many packets is she using? That's two. First time I did it, I was dating. Three. And it's going in a very large pot. We're going for a fourth packet, ladies and gentlemen. This is a lot of packets. This is gonna go on for a while, I'm sure. Like I said, I really want it. Six, we're on to six. How blue are you making this? If you care about staining your towels, just get a blue one or else just get like a really old one. I don't know, do it either way. It appears that she then boiled the water out after putting the color in it. And now she's going to dip her head in a boiling hot water mixture. And that, my friends, gives me anxiety beyond belief. Apparently water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is slightly concerning since flat irons go up to like 200 something. And I was gonna say, this seems dangerous for her hair, but now I take that all back. Honestly, it seems less dangerous than a flat iron. However, if she spills this on herself, she is going to burn her face and get a third degree burn on her face. I'm sure Sure, people have accidentally poured boiling water on their face while doing this Kool-Aid moment. I don't want that to happen to anybody. Just be so cautious if you try this at home. I think I'm gonna go at it sideways so you guys can see. That bowl could easily fall on her right now and it would be catastrophic. I'm so interested to see if this works. Like, is this gonna be really bright? Oh my God, it looks really bright. Why didn't my work like that? <laughs> I wonder how long she has to sit in there for. This just seems like a pain in the ass. Like, girl, what are you doing? Get some hair dye. I swear it's not that expensive. You can get hair dye for like $6. This probably costed you $6 to do. <laughs> Whoa. She just burnt herself. I only touched my head with the water. This just seems so scary. Like, why? Oh, girl. There's better ways to do this. I swear I would never do this again. It actually looks really good. This blue color is gorgeous. Since it's just warm now, it's not going to scald me anymore. Just one more time. Okay, so now she is doing a second round. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is true. That is correct. She's doing it again. I don't know why. Her hair already looks so blue, but apparently it just makes it stick more. I don't know. I want to learn. Let's see. I'm going to kind of dip the whole thing in. This is going to stain her whole body. Okay, so there's check-in number one. I'm done with this Kool-Aid now. Let's see the final result. I already am so happy with it. I already feel so much better. I feel 100 That's all that matters. So, 100% am glad I did it. No regrets. I'm excited to see it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. It's so pretty. Wait, why does it look so good? And her hair looks kind of shiny and healthy. What is this? A second, like, you know, a second little dipping. What is this? Look how shiny it is, you guys. Oh my God, I'm so glad that that blonde is gone. Why does that blue look so good? I'm glad that I dipped my whole- <laughs> Her hair looks amazing. That helped a lot to kind of intensify it. Dude! I wish you could see me right now, my butt is hanging off the end of that side of the seat. That looked amazing. I mean, the gradient from the darker hair to the blue hair, it's gorgeous. The blue hair is definitely your thing and you should always have it blue. It goes so well with your skin tone. It looks incredible. So happy with it. So happy for you. Great job. Okay, so boiling the water with the quid apparently works really well. Let's move on to the next video and see what happens there. Up next, we have a video by Viv Hair Therapy. I know Viv. I did a video following one of her tutorials a while ago. Can't wait to see what's going on with her. Let's 
see this video. It's called, I made a real hair dye from Kool-Aid, not clickbait. I believed you. I'm glad it's not clickbait. So for today's video, I'm going to be recoloring my hair. Not to regular hair dye, but with Kool-Aid. So right here, I have 50 packs of Kool-Aid. I really actually want to find out if I can make a hair dye that is just as comparable to my store-bought hair dye. I'm interested. Okay, so she's boiling the water, adding a lot of Kool-Aid. We are on two packets, three packets, four packets. So every now and again, I stir my mixture to six, seven, still up. Oh, eight, nine. Because the aim is to add as much Kool-Aid to this hot water. 10, 11. Okay, she went off. Oh my gosh, she's doing every single packet in the box. Yo, she's gonna have really multicolored hair. We're ready to apply our Kool-Aid hair dye and I've already separated my hair into four sections. I wonder what color it's gonna really turn out like. Like she just put five different colors in one. So now I'm gonna transfer my Kool-Aid syrup mixture into my condiment bottle. This is like one of those ketchup mustard. Oh, this is creative, okay. In supermarkets, then you will find hair coloring bottles in like a beauty supply store. So she's putting the hair dye in a condiment bottle uh, and then putting it on her hair. That's creative and I like that. And I'm glad she's not gonna burn her head off. Like what could have happened to the other girl. And this dye looks like it packs a damn punch. Get it? Packs a damn punch. Get it, Emma? Pack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not fun. <laughs> if this isn't red red, if this doesn't give me all the red I've ever asked for and wanted in my entire life, I'm gonna be disappointed. She has put so much color in her hair. This is looking good. I'm really excited. I hope this is deep red. And I'm just going to finish it on the ends of my hair because that's the first. It looks really good so far. It looks really, really, really good. Really saturate my ends. I'm not going to go out in a public gym with my hair wrapped up like this. I'm actually going to go wrap my hair up with my leggings. Wait, that wrap is beautiful, low key. It linked up in the eye cards. Oh my God. It actually looks like she murdered somebody like in her shower. This looks like hell. It is going all over her everywhere, but it looks red. I'm very excited to see it dry. Look at my hair. Yes. Yes, dude. Yes. So this is the color of my hair after my Kool-Aid hair dye. It's not as intense as I thought it would be, but the color is definitely popping. <gasps> Okay, I mean, immediately after it dried, this looks really good. Okay, her hair, I mean, is just so pretty. And then with the deeper red lowlights, with the lighter red highlights, with the darkness at her roots, I'm gonna say, it looks like a professionally done color, which is scary. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how did she get this lucky, but it looks professionally done and, and it's startling, to be honest with you. Wow, she looks amazing. Great job, Viv. Great job. Okay, next video is by Nicole Skies, and this is called Beauty. What? Okay, so next we're gonna do this video by Nicole Skies. <laughs> okay, next video is by. <laughs> Stop. Next video up is by. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you've done to me now. <laughs> Next video is by Nicole Skies, and this video is called Beauty Hack or Whack DIY Kool-Aid Hair Dye. Dyeing my hair blue, let's check it out. I'm going to empty out five packets into my little hair dye mixture. So she's mixing it with water with five packets. Let's see what the technique is here. Now we're going to add some conditioner. Okay, so this is like similar to what I did. I wonder how good this is gonna work for her since it didn't exactly go that well with me. Divide my hair up into the sections that I wanna dye. Okay, so I'm gonna dye all of this. Oh, she's going for it. She's doing a whole half of her head. That looks quite pigmented, honestly. I feel like this is probably gonna go well, I don't know. I feel like you have to boil the water in order for it to work. Keep this on for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna go wash it out and we're gonna see if it actually dyed my hair. Okay, you guys, so we are back from washing oh, our hair. Nothing happened. And instead of blow drying my hair, I decided to take a nap with the fan on. So you guys, is it a hack or is it whack? Let's find out. 
Oh! Yo, it looks really good. So as you can see, it worked. Wait, that's a pretty color. I wish she did her whole head blue. To be honest with you, this blue color is gorgeous. And I don't know how it worked for her so well. I'm just so confused right now. Like, why did it fail so bad with me? I'm so sad. I'm really just sad about it, but it's okay. I'll get over it. But she killed it. It looks dope. Do your whole head next time, please. Okay, next video is by Tabs 24 x seven official oh 24 hours seven days a week official i get that i can hang with that Dude, that's what the kids say. Um, this is called How to Dye Your Hair with Kool-Aid. Wow, I should stop reading the titles today because they're all the f same. <laughs> so this video has no sound. Um, she ended up adding, what did she say? More Kool-Aid packets this time. Three used totals. Everybody's all over the place. What I've realized this entire time is there's no technique to this. Shit. It's just all over the place and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Actually, it always works for everybody else besides me, but it's okay. Um, and now she's adding warm water, mixing it, and putting conditioner in with it. I, it's the pretty basic method. It's looking hella blue. I'm ready to see what happens. Okay, so she has really light hair to start, and it seems to be a theme that you have to have light hair to do this, which makes a lot of sense, or else it's just gonna tint your hair very slightly. This girl has blonde hair. I think she's gonna do the entire thing, and she's giving me scene girl vibes, and that's all I really want today, and so I'm happy now. Ooh, it looks good so far. It's the same color as the last person also. Very aqua, a little bit of green in there. A little bit of blue in there. It's really pretty. It's really, really good. And she's just dumping on her head, bringing it all around, making sure it's on every strand of hair. I'm dying to see if this is going to really be vibrant on her. She only used three packets, guys. That is much less than what everybody else used. I don't know how vibrant this is gonna be or if it's gonna last. I mean, she seems to know what she's doing though. She seems very confident and like she's going to town on this and it's gonna work out for her. And she says, F it, my hair's gonna be blue and she is going through the motions. And I'm feeling confident. She's giving great vibes right now. She does this in for an hour and only rinses out the water. You never really want to shampoo out um, any kind of semi-permanent color. I don't know if you really call this semi-permanent. I guess so, because you're not mixing with developer. But apparently it lasts a very, very long time from what I've been told. Yeah, it looks much better than the blonde she had before. So this is the end result. Oh my God, it is so vibrant. Why did that work so well for her? Like it's neon blue. I don't get it. <laughs> this just didn't work out for me and it's only me and everybody else gets these really pretty, pretty hair colors and I feel stupid and defeated. It's not the first time I felt like that. Or the last. All right, let's just watch one more video because I'm having a lot of fun watching these. So let's see these two girls. <laughs> I knew you were gonna Okay, so let's watch a more because I am so <laughs> enjoying this. I knew you were gonna do that. I can't do this anymore. I just can't. Okay, so let's watch one more video. This is the best day ever. It's the best day ever. <laughs> I'm so excited to watch more Kool-Aids. These girls have darker hair, so I'm, I just want to see the outcome. Honestly, we can just skip through this. She's dipping her hair in red. The other girl's dipping her hair in blue. One of them has very dark hair. In purple, I'm doing red and- Oh, purple and red. Here and sit for seven whole minutes. And yes. <laughs> seven minutes. She's dipping it in for seven minutes and I feel like that's not gonna do anything. I don't know. I'm very experienced with Kool-Aid hair color at this point and I feel like this is not gonna happen. We're gonna continue patting our hair dry as much as possible and then we're gonna use a blow dryer to dry it out and then- Show me, show me, show me what happened. The pin that we decided to test today said that if you're gonna- Oh, hers looks red. The other girl's looks nothing, dif no different. So far, I'm not terribly impressed with the redness. I mean, it's definitely colored, but I don't know if I'd really call that red. Not red, yeah. It looks red, actually. It's just like a slight tint. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, of course, it doesn't really work on the brown hair very well. The red worked out fabulously. Not as impressive as we expected. Yeah. For mine, you know, I thought the best look I've ever seen. And then it, there's some brown parts. I wish she did her whole head or something. So you can't do it on dark hair. We figured that out. Great. All right, I'm done. <laughs> That's enough Kool-Aid videos for today. I'm all Kool-Aid out and I never want to think about Kool-Aid ever again. Well, it works guys. If you want to dye your hair with Kool-Aid, go for it. But don't blame me if you get third degree burn on your face from the hot water. Yeah.
That's all I have to say. Make sure you guys follow me on all my other social media networks. They're all right here. Make sure you guys text me at my phone number. Yes, this is a real number that really goes to my phone and I really see your messages and I can really text you back. And I'll be choosing a few of you to do just that. Make sure you guys follow Xmondo Hair at Xmondo Hair on Instagram. Also, you can shop my hair care products down below at xmondohair.com. Wave Tech is coming back in stock very soon, like in a matter of weeks. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I would love to see your face again, your beautiful, beautiful face. And make sure you guys press that like button for me it would be awesome and the bell icon thanks and today's instagram shout out goes to ella and she says she loves watching my videos thank you ella but uh she has done a lot with her hair cuts colors everything she's trying to grow her hair out and she'd love to know what i think she should do to her hair next here are some pictures of all different cuts and styles i've done love you love you um, so here are all the looks. Let me tell you my favorite look is this like bowl cut one. So good. I think I would like to see you with collarbone length hair again. And I feel like you haven't really done blue yet. Like a dusty blue all over just feels like it would work so well with your eyes and your skin tone. Maybe even having like an e-girl moment in the front with like pink. Ooh, that'd be hot. If you end up doing that, definitely send me a picture. I would love to see what it looks like. But yeah, that is my recommendation. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.